The Eagles headed to the MCG in round eight to take on the Hawks. It was a bizarre opening term in which neither team managed to score a goal, but it was all West Coast after quarter time. Eventually, Brendan Archie broke the goalless deadlock. He might go for home from just inside the paint. Launches goal. We've got one. The Eagles went on to kick seven goals to lead by 27 points at half-time. Dom Sheed produced again with 35 disposals, as did Andrew Gaff, 516 metres gained. Archie capped off his career best four goals. Eventually comes around. Is that Archie who's kicked that again? Everything is Archie today. West Coast by 38 points for back-to-back -back wins for the first time in 2021. Another bird battle at Optus the following week as the improving Adelaide tested the Eagles in the first half. But an electric five-goal second term by Jack Darling captivated the Eagles fans, sending Optus Stadium into a frenzy. The five majors in 17 minutes set up the win, with Josh Kennedy and Oscar Allen also chipping in with three goals apiece. Energetic forward Jamie Cripps was one of the best, as was Tim Kelly, who continued his good run of form. The 30-point victory made it three wins on the trot. Next up, a big, big challenge with the Giants awaiting in Sydney. It was a tight and tense struggle in which there was 16 lead changes. When Oscar Allen kicked truly early in the fourth term, there was less than a kick in it. But Bobby Hill's two late majors gave the Giants a 16-point win. Natanui dominated with 35 hitouts and seven clearances, while Tim Kelly was among the Eagles' best. He's pretty good from here, usually from 50. Terrific kick from Tim Kelly. Hoping to avoid back-to-back -back defeats, the Eagles returned home to take on an informed Bombers outfit. Five straight goals in the second term opened up a potential match-winning lead. Sheed, goal, nine straight now for the Eagles. The Eagles lost stars Tim Kelly and Oscar Allen before half-time and Essendon played a desperate game in the second half. They kicked five straight of their own. Jake Stringer's goal to open the fourth term put the Bombers in front and they held on for a 16-point win. Natanui was outstanding, 40 hitouts and 20 disposals. Dom Sheed also should get in the votes, 43 disposals and a goal. The Eagles, hoping to get back to winning ways, were forced to play at the SCG against Carlton. But West Coast embraced the challenge, leading for all but two minutes of the game in a complete team effort. Andrew Gaff racked up 30 touches and a goal. Jack Redden laid 10 tackles to go with 22 disposals and a goal. And he kicks his first of the game. Barris, McGovern and Hearn were all rock solid down back, as was youngster Harry Edwards, while Luke Foley showed his versatility and a terrific first goal. Liam Ryan was inspirational, four goals in one of the Eagles' best wins of the season. Inside 50, beautiful ball, Plan run. To round 13, and it was one of the games of the year. The Eagles taking on Richmond, the two teams responsible for the last four flags playing in an epic encounter in front of a capacity crowd. The tone set early by this freakish effort by Natanui in the first term. Natanui at the back, Natanui! It was goal for goal in the second quarter, the Tigers ahead by four points at half time, but they got on top in the third, leading by 12 points at the final change. The game looked gone when Shea Bolton made it a 22-point lead to the visitors halfway through the last quarter. But the Eagles didn't give up. Goals to Waterman, Cripps and Oscar Allen created an opening, which started at half-back. Edwards, now just get it and go. Ellie. The chain looked a familiar formula. The pressure this time on Kennedy to put West Coast in front. Left football and he hits Kennedy. What's the champ got? He bends it, he bends it, he bends it through! West Coast hit the front! Kennedy's goal brought the house down, but it wasn't over. One last surge for the Tigers. The kick's got to hit the mark. Lee Walt's got it, plays on. Handball to Martin, don't tell me. From 55 metres out, long ball. Hearn marks. West Coast are going to win. West Coast will win. West Coast with an inspiring victory and one that will be remembered for a long time.